So how are people staying cool? Well, CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Venice where they have a different kind of flex alert going on. Cara, tell us about it. <laughs> Marcy, we're at Muscle Beach, so we've got a double flex alert going on, and I want to start with a fun one here. We have got Chris, Miha, all of their buddies here working out. Uh, they have plenty of power, and they are free to use it just as long as the lifeguards say they are not overheating. Going to flip our camera around so that you can see all the folks also starting to set up over on the sand. They are not exerting quite so much energy. <laughs> Temperatures almost always cooler here at the shore, but right now it's still about 85 degrees. That is hot, and if you're out here for hours not taking any precautions, it definitely can take a toll. Let's go now to some shots from nearby Santa Monica. Pretty quiet over there this morning, but big crowds expected at all Southland beaches over the holiday weekend. L.A. County lifeguards tell us in anticipation they're bringing in extra emergency response trucks and rescue watercraft, so they are ready to respond to heat illness and to water emergencies. At the same time, they are urging beachgoers to act, to stay hydrated, and to keep an eye on those kids. Your kids will go really hard and they won't realize they're getting dehydrated. So make sure they're hydrating. Bring an umbrella, bring a canopy, and uh, always swim and surf in front of an open lifeguard tower. We're going to have some uh, decent sized surf over the next couple days. So you always want to make sure that you're close to the lifeguard. And if you get in a problem in a rip current, just wave your arms to the lifeguard and we'll come rescue you. Don't try to swim against the current, you want to swim parallel to shore. All right, now to the other flex alert for the third day in a row, Cal ISO, which manages the state's power grid. It's asking us to conserve energy between 4 this afternoon and 9 tonight. They say so far the voluntary alerts are working. During one, you're asked to set your thermostat at 78 degrees or higher to avoid using major appliances or charging cars and to turn off unneeded lights. This is the lowest level response to what's expected to be a major stress on our grid. State leaders say if not enough of us take part in this, by Monday or Tuesday, there is a possibility we could face rolling blackouts. So back here live, Marcy, this is the weekend of flex. <laughs> We're giving you a visual to remind you. And if you're going to double flex like these guys, just make sure to do it safely. Oh, Cara, this is definitely the best live shot of the day. You win. <laughs>